fucking shit because it's the Lions and even five and two, it's just not a, it ain't good enough for people. Yeah. I don't know what the problem is. So you know they, they got issues. So you want to talk about Matt Stafford? Want to talk about what he and you want right and all that good stuff? So anyway, I'm I, I'm a Lions fan, so I'm excited that they won. It was a good, you know, they, they fought it out. They put, they came back. I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna be an L, dog. I was mad. Yeah, I turned it up at the wrong time. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't even finish watching? I turned it up at the wrong time. Oh, you gave up? I gave up, man. You I'm one of those fake ass fans. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kid of <laughs> little man, man, but I just. You sound like a fake ass fan. I didn't want to cry, man. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to stick crying. into a lion's a lion's a uh, lion's ear that was supposed to get. Right. Supposed to get. Supposed to get. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? I know what you mean. Yeah, but yeah. Otherwise, outside of that, man, we did a. Uh, uh, Saturday, like I, I mentioned earlier, off off uh, off the air, went to uh, went to Nicole's uh, sister's daughter's first uh, birthday birthday party. So, first of all, uh, we mentioned this yesterday on on our show. All right, so no other story. Right, so shout out to Coco J man and uh, Lil Zari, you know what I'm saying? Happy number one birthday. All right, but uh, yeah, we mentioned this yesterday on me and her show. Uh, when he say she say yesterday on Sundays from four until five p.m. But um, I just want to give a not a real shout out, okay. <laughs> but I just want to say true one word about uh the Chuck E. Cheese in Dearborn, Michigan. If you're if you're from the surrounding uh Detroit area or Dearborn, then you already know probably what I'm about to say. But the first thing is though is that when I pulled up into park, it was, first of all it was bang, it was bang like a club on Saturday night. It was bang. So I had to go all the way to the back down there. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I'm from the east side, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But on some real shit though, I was like, dude, is it is it lights back here in the, in the parking lot? <laughs> yeah, so it, yeah, it's dark, huh? Nah, hella dark. So when you hit the door, man, it's just like, for, for one, it's a place with a million kids. So you already know it's about to sound like a, like a volcanic eruption in there. <laughs> but uh, to me though, the whole thing it just seemed like, now, First of all, let me say this: I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese a day ever? in my life, ever. As a kid. No, we went to Major Matches. <laughs> I don't remember that, bro. Right? Yeah, that was up there on grass. Oh, yeah, so man. I never even been to uh, Chuck E. Cheese. But anyway, this the shit in, in this uh, Chuck E. Cheese, I swear, it looked like it was probably there in the eighties, though. <laughs> like, oh, like man. you know, you got the monitors and stuff. Right? right. You got the little, the little, uh, the little mothers up there performing or whatever. Yeah. You got the monitors so you can see the song they actually singing. Why they had the big ass, the, the ass back TVs though? Yeah, too. Yeah, so you ain't got no flat screen over there? Like, they ain't making enough money to. I don't know, man. And luckily, I ain't had to go to the bathroom. Who knows oh, what it looked like up in there, dude. Yeah. Hey, but you know, shout out to, to the Jackson crew, you know what I'm saying? So I had fun kicking it with them, you know what I'm saying, for the birthday. They still have the mouth in that joint? Yeah, same mouth, and I think it had dust joint. all on his. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 1979. Cheetos, Cheetos. Right, you know, so he had one of the big, thick ass mustaches like from back in the seventies, afro and shit. But anyway, uh, so that was fun, man. We did that though, so that that was kind of cool. So that was exciting. All right, but uh, after that Sunday, like I mentioned, watched that Lions game, so that was magnificent. You know, so, so I had fun doing that, of course. But uh, outside of that, man, my weekend was pretty low key. But uh, what I have, what we have been talking about though, uh, if you've been checking us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and everywhere. That we exist. All right, we're talking about some online dating, man. We, I want to know what y'all say about that. But of course, before we get into that, we gotta pay some bills, and hopefully, mm-hmm. the uh, <laughs> hopefully the news clip will be ready by then. Mm-hmm. If not, we may just have to improvise and just uh, we click her in and have her say it live on the radio. Put her right on the spot. <laughs> right, put her right on the spot. But uh, anyway, yeah. So if you're checking us out on Instagram or on Twitter, then you know we're talking about we're talking about online dating. We're trying to figure out. Is it more acceptable now? I mean, there's so many people who are uh, so busy, you know, especially uh, young professionals. So they're in a position where I guess they don't have time to date. So yeah. just trying to see if online dating is, you know, more acceptable. I, I think it is, but I got some things to say about it, of course. But don't forget, if you're on Ustream or on eblockradio.com, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. But first, we go, go to our number one supporter. Black tie photography straight from ATL. Shout out. Back in two minutes. Witness the black tie experience. Black tie photography servicing all of Metro Atlanta area. My name is Cedric Pitts, your photographer. Check out our website at www 
blacktiepictures.com or like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash blacktiepictures. Let me capture your professionalism in class and you will have the ultimate black tie experience. Are you looking to start a new career? Let Choice Career Studies help you take your next step towards success. We offer dental administration courses that can be completed in four short and easy weekends. For $495, we will give you the fundamentals of dental administration, resume and interview skills, and assist with job placement. Give us a call today, 586-222-5457. Are you looking to start a new career? Let Choice Career Studies help you take your next step towards success. Yo, 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 it's the deal. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis, the host of the Livest Cloud Radio Show on the planet. You know what it is, straight from the E-Block. We live every week, and we reach over 60,000 listeners. So you know what that means? If you got a small business or a product that you want to promote, this could be the perfect venue for you. If you want to learn some more about how you can advertise on our platform, go to the website, www.eblockradio.com, and see what package works for you. We got packages as low as $25 a month. $25 a month, where can you beat that at? We're reaching over 60,000 listeners. Hey, if you want to get more information, don't forget, go to the website, www.eblockradio.com. Advertise with the livest cloud radio show on the planet. You heard it here first. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis. Get at me. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 you know what time it is, man. We back in the building. The liveest cloud radio show on the planet, man, straight from the E-Block. Live on your dial every Monday, uh, seven-ish, <laughs> around seven, okay. seven-ish, eventually. Like you know what I'm saying? Every Monday, seven, at seven until eight. And, of course, uh, in case you just joined us, I got my man 2Gs in the building. Two of them G's, you know what I'm saying? Two G's holding it down. My man, Mom Money, wasn't able to make it today, but you know you got your man's holding it down. That's how we're starting Q Lewis. In the place to be, I was I was prepared though. Like I knew my money wasn't coming, so I was prepared to hold the show now by myself. Okay, I'm gonna go watch ESPN then, bro. All right, hey, hey, you're good because you know what I did though, because I know I wasn't gonna talk the whole hour. I had a couple of select jams I was gonna play. <laughs> I was gonna select play some jam. jam. jams, jams. <laughs> hey, first of all, though, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Yogi Lee, man. We have those technical difficulties. Was unable to upload. The, uh, the news today, man. We're going to have to play like three news shows next week just so we can catch up because we haven't played her in a couple of weeks now. But uh, shout out to Yogi Lito who does the news. You can actually check out her news report on YouTube right now on, the, uh, on our uh, YouTube page. All right, that's straight from the eBlock, the, uh, the channel, all right, on YouTube. Also, you can check her out on www.eblockradio.com and check out the news program from today, even though it didn't make it to the show. Is definitely still on the website, so shout out to my girl Yogi Lee, man. Hey, but look, so we're gonna jump right into it. So if you just now join us on Ustream or on eblockradio.com, you gotta know what we're talking about, man. We're talking about online dating. All right, so I want to know from the listeners out there, like, have we become such a busy society, especially for like young professionals and people in school? Is it just becoming more acceptable to do online dating? I mean, there's so many sources out there for online dating, it's crazy. Uh, don't forget though, if you don't use live radio or use stream, you gotta hit us up 760 283 4647 and hit that number one EI. Yeah. So we wanna hear from y'all. So, 2G, man, what you say, bro? Uh, Online dating. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> What's that? What you think? Uh, it's quite funny, man. I've seen a couple times. But uh, online dating is, is most definitely real, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would never do it, you know, I'm with someone, but you know. 
But uh, I'm, I'm not a good answer. I'm not against it, man. But I just pray to be careful, man. They got all type of catfishes and all type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that's one thing. Yeah. That's that's an added element that probably wasn't in effect before. Right. right. I, but but for the people that listen, I if you uh, if you're familiar with uh, catfishing, basically uh, it was a it was a show. I don't know if the term was out before the show came out. But anyways, the show what was it on MTV. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anyway, it's called catfish, and basically it's just like, uh, like, like dating sites and social media, just kind of ways to. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. It's like people setting up like fake profiles and like making you think that you're in a relationship right. or that that you're dating somebody online, and then turn around and it's really like it's a hoax. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's something that's new and probably wasn't something that a lot of people was thinking about at first. Of course, the first thing he was thinking about. When you talk about online dating, it's just meeting somebody crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so now you gotta make sure this is dude, you know what I mean? <laughs> is it the person that's a picture? There's all types of right. you know, factors that go into online dating. I'm not against it. Um, certainly not for it. I'm, I'm not against it or for it. But yeah. it, it. I mean, in business society today, man, it's a good way to meet people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, man, I was watching a uh, commercial the other day, man. They got all type of uh, sites, man. I seen, uh, Mingling with farmers or something. Yeah, they got a farmer. Christian mingles or something. Well, they, something they, got like yeah, yeah, they got both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both. So they got all types of sites, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? To put you where you need to be with the group of folks that you, you know, so that you went to. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, I guess it's good work, man. Just, you know, just, you got the, the, the catfish deals and, you know what I'm saying? Other types of, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that presents itself when, you, when you're online. Yeah. People jump online and get to create a profile. And, you can be somebody who's not really. Yeah, it'd be like me, but it'd actually be like a dude down the street. Or <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Rage, you know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, yeah, man, I'm all. I guess it's, I guess it's 100, man. For, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now it is totally different from you know from the way it used to be. Yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, it, it's still some. It's it's still some issues. I mean, it's still some hesitancy because you're talking about you know you're talking about online. You're talking about online dating, so this is, it's kind of, you you don't know who you're dealing with. You know, you, you don't know who you come in contact with. Mm-hmm. Now, the same can be said, though, for in-person in meetings, though, because you meet people where a lot of times they turn out to not be the people you thought they were. Yeah, but it's, you, you take more risk over that computer, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like I said, man, you can create a profile and be anybody you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I read a post or something online that said, uh, Internet, you can create who the hell ever you want to be. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what people do. That's how you all the catfishes and all that type of stuff, man. Yeah. So I mean, right now, obviously, it's it's a little more acceptable. I, yeah. I mean, you would you would anticipate that it is only because there's so many sites that exist. Yeah. So obviously, it's people using them. Right. Um, now, with with that in mind, though, let's say now you said off rip like at this point. I mean, obviously, you said that you you in a, you in a relationship already, so you're not interested in doing online dating. But if you wasn't, would you? Uh, yeah, I would. I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If I see something that caught my attention, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I shoot a little DM, a little instant message, whatever they call it. <laughs> right, whatever they call it. Right, right see what's up, man. But I want to do my research, man. Like, before we meet, I don't, I don't, we had a voice verified and all that type of deal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> voice verified? First verified. So, <laughs> Let me you know check out that Adam's app. Right, right, right. I want a picture <laughs> of your neck. You like this? <laughs> I want you to put your head back. Let me see your neck. All right. right. Stay late to o'clock. Stay late to o'clock. Right, Make right. One from the last. right, right. I want to do a video jumping on one foot. Nah, you still, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, I'm not. I, I would. You know what I'm saying? About you know, single, whatever. You know, I would, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't say it's an easy way to meet people, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, I say it's kind of, it's kind of easier than out in the club buying drinks and you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, it's kind of easier because they, they, they might view your profile. They might see what you are, what you, how you dress, how you actually look. All that type of stuff, man. Well, well I, you know what? Uh, before I before I jump in, of course, if you're on eblockradio.com or on Ustream, I encourage you to hit us up 760-283-4647. Or if you're on the phone lines right now, you can uh, hit that number one key and holler at your boy, man. But look, this is my thing, man. I, I have to. I'm kind of totally on the opposite of it. I, right. I I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's just lazy. I, it's no, seriously. I mean, you. Yeah. You, every everybody busy, so that's your excuse. Like yeah. you busy, so you ain't got time to like meet a real person. Yeah. Like I don't know, I just think it's lazy. So me myself, no, I would never do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not even. 
No, I, I guess maybe because I'm, I'm more interactive, like I'm a communicator, I guess. Yeah, so I, I, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather have a conversation, you know, a regular conversation. I don't know. I, I think it kind of, it makes you lazy, though. It makes you not have to do no work. So, I mean, you, I guess you have to do work because it's, yeah. still, it's still a dating situation. But at the same time, it's, so you can go home and pull up my profile and say, oh, you work at so-and-so. Oh, you got a radio show. Oh, he does this on Sundays. Yeah. Like, that's a regular conversation. But you could be yeah. doing that, you know, if they're curling your hair and shit or, or watching Love and Hip Hop and shit, you know, whatever whatever yeah. she's doing while she's on the dating site. And I just think that that's going to make it lazy. Now, I guess a, a a good side of it, I guess, is to, because you you able to see those things, and then maybe you can uh, find out a little more detail to encourage better, you know, discussions or, you know, better conversations. Right. But at the same time, Who's to say, like you said, is that if that profile is legit? You know what I'm saying? Like, you might be a CEO right. on your profile, but really, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right. they ain't going down like that. Right. Yeah, I mean, to, to the honest people, the brief introduction, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do your profile or whatever you post, pics, whatever. Yeah, yeah to the people that's 100, you know what I'm right. saying? But the cash pictures and all that stuff, man, it's a, it's a, it's a bad move, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Well, let I me mean, ask you this, though. Have you, have you, ever, have you ever done it? Uh, no, I did some uh, some online flirting or something, yeah. man. But you know what I'm saying? I never, I never took it that far. Yeah, probably. like read a profile, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Profile, yeah. just a date, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know, it just seems weird to me. I think it just make it, it just like, make people lazy. Like right? a dating site? Yeah. yeah, like a straight dating site. Oh, yeah, I never did a dating site. Yeah. Now, you say, <laughs> I'm just going to hmm? piggyback on this. You say, like yeah, you said a lot of things. Okay. But I'm just going to say this now. You say that, you know, it can make it easier. Because you know you got a profile, and everything to see if it's something you like, this, that, or third. Right. But if that's the case, we all on dating sites right now because this is what women do all the time. They check your Facebook profile. Yeah. <laughs> they check your Instagram. They already yeah. on your profile. Yeah, already right? So, already you're right. They already checking for you. Tell you where you was at last uh-huh. night. And why the <laughs> hell you was there last night? Right. Why are you checking selfies over there? Right. <laughs> right. So you kind of already under scrutiny right there. Right. Right? And you know what? I think that uh you know to to be honest with you I think that with uh social media blowing up the way that it has it that made online dating easier yeah. because it made you more comfortable <laughs> what I refer to as stalking <laughs> it makes it uh, right it's cyber stalking man it makes it it makes it more uh I'll say acceptable I'll say the word acceptable yeah, you can say that, but like yeah I wasn't stalking I was just seeing what yeah was just, was on your page. <laughs> you were just on your page I was, I was wondering what you posted today <laughs> right, right yeah, yesterday right. and the day before right. and last week but I was doing like or comment on no pictures <laughs> I didn't know anything you did yesterday <laughs> right so that's kind of I guess that's been kind of going on and I think that made it you know a little bit more acceptable mm-hmm. and especially like since I guess there's so many professional people and people going back to school and, you know, single parents and I it's not a lot of time today and I guess yeah. this makes it easier. But I have to admit, I think that it's just lazy, dog. I mean really? you can just have I mean, to go meet somebody at the gas station putting ten on two, dog. Like you ain't got to create a profile on blackpeoplemeet.com. Yeah, but you like a lot of people need profiles, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> they can't introduce themselves. Uh. I know you wish you had a couple profiles, a couple bras you dated. You know <laughs> right, when you right. had that profile first. Like, right, right, right. I should have stopped cyber stalking her real quick. Right, if I'd have known this. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I right. think at certain times, man, I mean, it, it, it would have been a good idea. I mean, eventually, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you do your internet dating, it's going to go somewhere eventually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go out and meet the public unless y'all just going to do the yeah. whole cyber sex. And now, I guess the difference, too, cool. I'm going uh, to shoot to the phone lines real quick because I see uh, I see Coco J on the line, so we're going we to get to her. Mm-hmm. In just a second, but um, I think it's probably gonna make a difference too. I'm gonna jump into this after we take her phone call though. But but uh, it's it's probably gonna make a distance on the make a difference on the distance too though. Yeah, yeah, because I figure like even if you if you cyber uh, cyber thing, I guess you call it cyber somebody cyber. from around you know around the way as opposed to somebody from you know Vermont. Right. Then I mean yeah, I I guess it makes a difference then, but. We're going to jump into that in a second, but uh, real quick, we're going to shoot to the phone lines. I got the beautiful, lovely, sexy Miss Coco <laughs> J on the line, who I am proud to call my lady. Oh, Coco J, you there? <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
What up now? She blushing. Who is? Right, she can't even talk. Hello. 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 What up? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. You're on live. Can you hear me? I sure can. Oh, okay. How you just replying it? Right, right. <laughs> huh? How did you just reply if you can't hear me? <laughs> Right now, that now that's crazy though. Yeah, I, that's crazy. If you you met somebody online and then you start dating and then the first time you see them is at the wedding rehearsal, mm-hmm. <laughs> then you, you got, got a problem. A, you got a hell of a online game going on. Compete. Game is fierce. And when, when you're when you're online dating, versus you're dating somebody that's not your partner, you can you can go by the uh, body language and talk when they speak and react to questions. But just online dating stuff, I mean that's 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 hard. So shout out to the people who do it, and I you know I ain't knocking the people that do it because some people do find true love on it, but I wouldn't. That just that's just something I I know I wouldn't do it. Right. And hey, well, let me uh let me ask you this while I got you online though. Do you uh do you know anybody who has done that and, and been successful at it? Like, met somebody online in, like, an online dating service and, and are actually, you know, like, in a relationship or got married after that? I do know somebody, but they was never successful. Right. Because they were online dating. Right. Because they were online dating. Right. Because they were online dating. Right. Because they were Right. And so, <laughs> was it one of those situations where, was it one of those situations where she didn't see him until the wedding, or was it one of those situations? No, it wasn't. No, no. She, she, he, um, she was on a high wind, but she left, I think she was out of town, or she went out of town with him, and he was coming here to visit, but still, it was more, the conversation was more online and over the phone. Right. Face to face. Yeah. That she doesn't know about that he checks on her and lies and lies to her. Right. And see, that's, that's my thing. I, I, that's why I say I, you need that face to face communication. Even though I mean it, it can still happen, but I, I just need that communication. I think that like yeah, I like the whole time say that quote. I just think it's lazy. I, that's uh, that's my whole thing. I just think it's lazy. If you go tell me that you ain't got. It, Two minutes to, to meet a person, or you ain't got to meet nobody at the bar. Do something else. Join a book club. Like you can meet somebody. So no, seriously, right, right. like think outside the box. Don't be trying to meet, you know, somebody at a you know, Starbucks. Right, go to Starbucks or something. You know, break out the laptop. With a mocha latte. Right, you know, thank you, a mocha latte. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Instead of making a, a, a dating profile, like go right. do something in person. Right. Y'all want candy crush together? What's up, bro? Mix some neighbors things that we have in the stuff going on. Right. Yeah. You know that's 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 a, that's one a good way we keep the mix and mingle those things that we have. So yeah. <laughs> hey, so look, you say that uh, if you were single, that you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't ever do online dating. What what would you say would be a, a healthy alternative? Um, uh, I take your book somewhere and meet somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, church, go to church downtown, or bar. Yeah, do something right. Yeah, that, and I, right. I agree. And start going to the gas station on the other side of town instead of you know, you know maybe meet somebody new. <laughs> right. Stop. Uh, what we call it? Cyber stalking. Stop cyber stalking. Go out and get some gas on the west side. He <laughs> said, "Go get some gas on the west side." Right. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the whole thing to go west side and see some gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, thanks for your call, man. You, um, you say what? You say what now? I said, so I know exactly what I'm talking about with that online flirting stuff, too. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. Hey, thanks for your call, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you driving through a tunnel? <laughs> All right, you're trying to do a tell. I can't hear you. We lost contact. Sorry. Thanks for your call. All right. Thanks for your call, baby. Thanks, girl. The lovely Miss Coco J. You can check her out every Sunday on He Say, She Say. You know what your boyhood how we're starting holding it down. So Talking about relationship stuff. We probably gonna have we probably gonna have this conversation off air today, so we might have another. Uh, episode about this, so he says she right. says it sometimes. So, I see my guys with blue blockers on. Black eyes. Come to the black. <laughs> yeah, come to the studio with a black eye. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, that's that's so not what's up. Yeah. But do you uh you know anybody that's ever um, like, did an online dating profile? I don't know dudes that met like uh like girls, but I don't, I don't think it's you know what I'm talking about. I think it's more like some one night type of thing. I don't think it's <laughs> a one nighter. Yeah, I don't think it's much like you know, much really going on like that. Yeah. You know. Okay. But I don't know about that successful business thing. Like that, yeah. You know what I'm hey, you see them commercials. You know what I'm saying? They 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 be having like they be taught in the 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 success rate. You know, ninety percent and shit. What's that one? Uh, yeah. damn, I can't. The with the old dude be on there and the little girl. Um. All I heard, I've seen the video of Christian Mingle. Christian. And, uh, farmers. But the farmers, though. No, it really is a farmer's one, though. Like, no, no bullshit. I, I couldn't believe it. They got, they got mingles and single joints for, for everybody. But, like I say, man, I'm just going to continue to say that I think that it's just, it's lazy. I just don't even, I just don't, I think that you need to be doing something else. Get out, get out and do something else. Just like, uh, just like Coco J said, man, get out and, Go, what's what's she saying? Go to the gym. Like go go to the go to the coffee shop on the other side of town. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Do I thought we had a guest in the studio, but we don't. Right. <laughs> so never mind. You saw the kind of got a guest. Not There's really no guess. one in the studio. He's a ghost. Just us. <laughs> right. Just us squares. Hey, but look, we only got about ten minutes left, man. So you go on eblockradio.com or on Ustream. Y'all hit me up seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven. And hit that number one key, man. If you're on Ustream right now and you're scared because you got a dating profile, you don't want your woman to know because you're in a relationship. But, <laughs> but you still got one. We don't care, man. Just don't say your name, dog. Right. We, won't, we only going to say the first seven digits of your phone number. Right. We're not dating. All seven of them. We're going to say the We're not dating. Seven. We don't care. Right. But look, what if, uh, like, if 
What what would what would make you? Because I know you just basically said that you ain't for it, like you ain't doing that shit. But what would, what would make you think that you had to go that route? I mean, I think for us, we just kind of communicated. So I don't even try to do all that extra, like cyber shit. I mean, if I, if I saw something that caught my attention, you know what I'm saying? I, I've never been the type of hey girl, uh, what's happening, Sam? Right. Oh, yeah. you look good, girl. Send it. Right. Had a whole damn conversation. Yeah, good. It's, it's the same kind of, you know what I'm saying? Un, 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 unswag like me. Unswag? Like unswag me. like me. Unswag, unswag like, like me. It's the oh, same so like we got Avery Man in the building. No, we no. officially have a guest. We officially have a guest. He's the only one down here. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like yeah. We're doing good, man. Avery Man, what you say, man? We got a few minutes left. What you feel about online dating? I think it's becoming more accessible. Hey, is, is that a good idea? No, ain't a good Hell idea. no. Well, well, tell the people why it ain't a good idea, Angie. I mean, how in the fuck are you going to trust somebody that's typing you some shit? You know what I mean? Why, <laughs> you know, it goes back pics. to what I said a long time ago. You know what um, I mean? When we was coming up, you had to get this in the fucking face. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had yeah. to approach the bitch, and just she had to tell you no know, right then and there. Right, right, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, know, you call a bitch, she had to tell you no on the phone. And, and you know what? That, that's something that we hadn't touched on actually the whole hour. And the thing that we're talking about, you know, online dating, to me, I say it's just late. I say, you can get your ass out and go do something. You know what I mean? but, but you just point out something I hadn't thought of. You can be somebody totally different, and then, you know, when you go meet a motherfucker, you know, now you want to you met the crazy, deranged motherfucker. Uh-huh. Because, crazy, you know, deranged in the first place. Right. right. And you, you didn't know. Much. But her profile is saying <laughs> Right. You know profile says you're a prime queen. Right. 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 You got it. <laughs> You point out something I really hadn't thought about, and this is something that, that we should uh, take a look at, though, too, Jesus. That, that uh, like you said, back in the day, you just had to get distant to your face. Now, the thing is, is I, I had to keep harping on this, man, but dudes are so soft, they oh, yeah. can't deal with rejection. They so, this whole little, I can be thug life, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, thug killer over right. here. But knowing that, you know what I'm saying, you ain't doing nothing out here, so that that's like a it's like a force deal. And yeah, I man. and you no, know, that's some good shit I hadn't even thought about like that. You know, I can be pissed all the time about something, but that's what I'm mad at. I'm, I got a son, I'm gonna teach that motherfucker. You wanna approach a young lady, you go step to it. And hey, you step right. to it, right? Step to it. Ain't no you know, online, nothing. You, right. know, you 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 buy furniture online. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> online, you know, you can return that shit. You right. can return that thing, what you buy. Yeah, what you buy? What you buy? You purchase, you purchase that deal. You purchase that deal. You purchase that deal. That's a whole, that's a whole other conversation off the air. You purchase that deal. And hey, hey, we got about, we got about seven minutes left, man. If you E Block Radio, son, that's yours. You don't bring me no wine. Don't bring me no wine. Son, go get it. That's yours. If you on E Block Radio right now or on YouTube, man, it's seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven. Man, hit that number one key. We got a few minutes left, y'all. We got angry in the building, puffing yeah. on the blizzle. Yeah. Black Miles. Yeah. A, a special non hit Right, we got a special <laughs> guest who's not really here. My man 2G's holding it down for no. money. Money. No. You know what I'm saying? Of course, uh, the Howard Stern holding it down, man. But look, I just want to I wanna go with some more on that, though, because he brought up a good point. I was about to go all in left field with some shit, but uh, Angry Man's brought up some things that I think is, is probably the true essence of why online dating is taking off. For one, like I said, social media killed it. So it made it acceptable to, to stalk people's profiles and make right. decisions off of what you see on, right. on the computer. So that shit made it acceptable. So now, that that just trickled down into the uh, online dating, and it's way more acceptable because dudes is way too... Dudes oh. scared to get... They're scared to get this. Like, dude, Man. I still can't believe Man. that a dude shot this girl Man. over a phone number. Over a fucking phone now. I, 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 I can't believe you, man. It got to be more of that story than something, man. I don't it believe so. More of that story. Because, like, you know, an uh, old girl ended up being, you know, uh, shot to my man, City Shot. His homeboy, oh, okay. brother's baby mama or whatever. Right. Dude was here. Dude was there with them. Oh, yeah. So she tells him, like, my dude over here, chill out. My dude over here. So they get yeah. into a little argument or whatever, I guess. They stepped over there because it's all family. They like, you know, get off or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Right. When they got outside, that's when my man come back and popped it. Like, oh, he can't get back. He can't, yeah, this was outside. Like, he just went to the ride. Right. Can't, yeah. He had to be on a pill or a line or something, man. No telling. He, was, he, I, I was, he, I had, he had just got this on blackpeoplemeet.com. True. <laughs> man, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too All right, my no, bad. No, you didn't work there now. My bad. You just got rejected. Oh, 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 oh,
any female. I never, but then that make you a better man because of that? You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, I mean, nah, you I, know, we wonder why, you know, we got teenage daughters out here and niggas rolling up blowing the horn. Because they oh, text yeah. you. They yeah. just fucking scared to even knock on the goddamn door right. and say, you know, can such and such go on a date? Or man, can, we used to roll up. Here. It wasn't no cell phones, no pages. We used to roll up. Oh, it was a crap shoot. Uncle Louie and Ray Ray them on the right. porch. Yeah. God damn. Everything right. was a crap shoot with us. I got to walk up you, like. No, you, you see, see, on, you see on the porch chilling like. Right. No, and she like, and, like uh, and she already know like you got to come through my uncles and them. You didn't even have to do. We gonna take that one step further. You ain't walk up. You had the man up. Get out the car yeah. Yeah. and go up there and handle your beer. Yeah. Even if she's a walk up with your shoulders down and your chin and your chest and see what happens. Even if she's a dirt bag, you might leave with it. Dog, them nineteen eighties uncles. Even if she's a dirt bag, you might leave with it. Dog, them nineteen eighties uncles. Best friends in twenty twenty. Man, don't even go there. I know. Don't even go there. But you know what? Excuse me, sir. You got your ass whooped. You got your ass whooped. It makes you man up. You know what I mean? Right, you find out where you at with yours, and not just on that tip though, just in life period. I mean, I not to make it all you know <laughs> extra like that and shit, but still learning how to deal with rejection prepares you for life, dog. Because you go a lot of shit's gonna reject you. <laughs> and we ain't just talking about these bitches either. I'm talking about life period. A lot of shit's gonna reject you. Let the bitch go with it. Whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that outside, outside. Yeah, that's that block talk. Right, that's that block talk, my man. You know, you get close to, <laughs> you get close to the end time. Man, you got a couple minutes left, man. If you're on eblockradio.com or uh, you stream, hit us up, 760 283 I got my man that's not really in the studio. Never Angry been. man's in the building. Yeah. Two G's holding it down, man. You boy, I was starting uh, a couple minutes left. But uh, on this tip, though, I, I guess I, I'm going to ask Angry. Cause I, well, obviously I know the answers, but Two G said ain't no way in the hell that he ever, 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 ever do a dating profile, do that online shit. That and would you have me. ever done that shit? Like with no. that? No, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm real. I just say, I just say, real with yours. It just seems corny, man. Like you, like, to me, it just seems lazy. It just seems corny, man. Like you, you some corny shit. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna walk to the stove twelve times a day if that's what I need to do. I want to meet somebody. <laughs> yeah. See me another one hey. walking. <laughs> right. Oh, catch me one walking. Hey, right. baby. Hey, driving past something. Driving past something. Yeah. Let me get some free dollars for you. Let me get some free dollars for you. Right. Baby. Like, oh, you want a you want a dollar bag? All right. All right. Are they a dollar on now? Can I get it? Hey, all right. Anyway. <laughs> hey, I'm just playing. No, he's talking about shit. Everything. What old girl? Like everything. Talking about shit. We knew what happened. But you approached her. You approached her. You get shot down. Whatever. You know. Yeah, and that's that's the thing, man. I think so many. And I hate to go here because I go here a lot. And I know a lot of women you know, ain't favorable with with this with this shit I be saying, but it, it's a lot of it's a lot of single single moms out here that made these dudes like that. Though. Like I I know that you want to shelter your your boy. You don't want nothing to ever harm him. But when you get eighteen and he ain't never dealt with that shit. Be in trouble. That's why you shoot motherfuckers because you don't know when when uh, somebody tell you no and she can just go home and do some other shit. Quarterback right. streaming motherfuckers tonight. Oh man, don't even get me on that dude, man. We'll, we'll say that for something. Yeah, we'll say that for another day, man. So, so anyway, man, I already know your idea, but we get ready to get up out of here. Two G's, man. What you say? Uh, online dating more um, acceptable. Online dating is real. <laughs> but for me, man, like a. Getting a profile and all that type of stuff, I can never do it, man. Yeah. It's, it just seems swagless, man. Swagless. It just that's that's it, your it, word. It, 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 it just seems swagless at one point, man. Yeah. Like, I'd rather, like like how you said, travel west, go to the gas station in the west Do something else, yeah. Go to the gas station. Go to a yeah. place you don't normally go if you're trying to just meet somebody different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that's kind of swagless. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, on that tip, man, I'm going to wrap it up, dog. So I think we in consensus down here that basically we ain't, ain't trying to do online day now. The thing is, though, is that Facebook and Instagram and Twitter have damn near turned into online dating anyway. Yeah, anyway. But as far as like being, feeling like that's my that's my outlet. Like I'm gonna get off work and, and go home and, and fix my profile so so I can go catch me one. Like I can't I can't see it. Now you can go on there, and you, can, you can floss and try to try to be sweet and all that right. shit, and hopefully get seen somewhere. You can do all that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You can do all that shit, but. At the same time, if this is your outlet, if this is your means, uh, then I, I don't think so. I think it's a, I think it's a bad look. Now, a, a lot of young professionals, you know, they don't agree with that. They say that they on Wall Street for 19 hours out of 24 hour day and they ain't got time. 
You know what? You better start banging somebody at work, man. You better figure out something. Because I I think it's just lazy. I think it's wrong. That's even motherfuckers on Wall Street. Because the slickest shit you talk on Wall Street, you can't yeah. slick talk a bitch on the right, 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 I'm right. not feeling that. Right, right. right. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go to New York. I ain't feeling that, son. You ain't feeling that, son. You know, the sun's out there. You can take a straight gun. You don't talk a B out of the side. Hey, yo, Bob. Let me do the headies, Bob. Hey, yo, Bob. Hey, yo, Bob. Hey, yo, Bob. Hey, yo, we, yo, we get up out of here, dog. Foolish, hey, man. I wanna, I wanna thank my special guest who will re- remain nameless. <laughs> Got my man, Angry Man, in the building. Oh, oh, oh! I thought he was about to make it. Oh man, he wait till we. Oh, we ain't gonna say his last name, but he very, very special guest. Got my man, two G's holding it down. And of course, man, your boy Hood Howard Stern, man, in the building. I still about twenty games twice. Don't forget to check us out next Monday. Of course, we're going to try to be on time this time. I can't guarantee it. Every uh, every Monday, 7 until 8. And also, don't forget to check us out on Wednesday. Uh, not us, but oh, look at this dude, man. Right. Talk to my man Jay Lou and Hugh holding down on Beyond the Bleachers on Wednesday. If you want to get your sports in, and don't forget to check me and the old late team is Coco J out on Sundays, all right, from 4 to 5. And that is he say, she say. And guess what? You can catch all the replays of all the shows all day long on www.eblockradio.com. If you got an Android, you can download the mobile app and take eBlock Radio everywhere with you. You feel me? It's crazy out here, dog. We everywhere. Come, come represent your side. Come get a t-shirt. Oh, for sure, man. Damn, I forgot, right? So make sure you follow Instagram. Our Instagram so you can check out the Part of My East Side t-shirt. It's Part of My East Side and West Side. All right, so don't forget to follow Part of My East Side on Instagram, all right? Also, Doc 2 gs of course. No, that's Doc the Goat, you know what I'm saying? Same Hood Howard Stern, of course. Real Monk Money, you got to check out my man's, too. We're going to get up out of here, though, man. You know what time it is, dog. got to say peace out to my homie. Fat Boy Fresh, man. For sure, buzz on the Brazil. On the PP. Happy right, birthday, cousin. Hey, all right, I was going to say, yeah, next week going to be his birthday, though. We're going to be out this weekend clowning. So shout out to the whole East Side. We're going to be representing. So Louis. Louis XIII. <laughs> you ever heard that Louis XIII? Rump Rump What the hell is it called? Yo, we up out of here, man. Stay for the E-Block, baby. Stay angry. Fat Boy Fresh. You know what time it is. Yo, this is You already know what it is. Get buzz in this bitch. I want to be. I want to be. I'm struggling to survive, survive so I can make it, trying to keep my dreams alive, see these niggas trying to hold me, but you can't hold me down, I'm a real motherfucker, yeah, nigga, ask around, I hustle cause I struggle, I'm struggling to survive, survive so I can make it, trying to keep my dreams alive, see these niggas trying to hold me, but you can't hold me down, I'm a real motherfucker, yeah, nigga, ask around. Living the life of a real nigga Struggling, trying to make it so I can pay these bills, nigga Sipping on this Henny, got me thinking about this bullshit I'm just trying to make it out, this some real life shit Dad passed away, so I had to man up alone Give you the truth, that's all you hear up on my fucking songs I ain't like these other niggas lying just to sell I think about my nigga locked in that fucking cell I do this for my mom, I know she looking down on me Trying to make it out the hood, wish that she was here to see do this for the block, I do this for my little bro Got love for my city, hard times, a nigga had to go Thinking back on everything a nigga been through It's hard moving, knowing everything is on you But I gotta keep pushing, keep my head up They want me to fall, but I can't give it up I hustle cause I struggle, I'm struggling to survive Survive so I can make it, trying to keep my dreams alive See these niggas trying to hold me, but you can't hold me down I'm a real motherfucker, yeah, nigga, ask around 
I hustle cause I struggle, I'm struggling to survive Survive so I can make it, trying to keep my dreams alive See these niggas trying to hold me, but you can't hold me down I'm a real motherfucker, yeah, nigga, ask around Sometimes I'm feeling like fuck life